Hello students, in my previous video, I have taught you chapter number four, that is exploring magnets. So in this video, we will be solving the question answers of this same chapter. And while solving the question answers, I'll also give you the necessary explanations in case you missed something in my previous video. So let us start. So the first question is fill in the blanks. Number one, unlike poles of two magnets dash each other. What does the question say? Suppose we have two magnets. This is one magnet and this is another magnet. Okay. And I told you every magnet has two poles, north pole and south pole. So if you bring unlike poles together, that means south pole and north pole together, what will happen? They will show attraction. Okay, so the answer to the first question is unlike poles of two magnets attract each other. Okay, whereas like poles repel each other. Okay, in a similar way if we take two magnets with a north pole, a magnet always has two poles. I'm repeating again and this time I bring two like blue poles together. So when we bring two like poles towards each other, suppose south pole, south pole or north pole, north pole, then in that case, the like poles will always show a force of repulsion. That is, they will repel each other. Okay. Number two, the materials that are attracted towards a magnet are called magnetic materials. Remember, all the materials that are attracted toward magnets are called magnetic materials. Okay. The needle of a magnetic compass rests along the north-south direction. This also we have done in our lecture. Suppose if you hang a piece of magnet with the help of a thread, tied exactly in the middle of the magnet and just give it a spin or a force so that it rotates okay but when it comes to rest you will observe that it will always rest itself in a north south direction okay number four a magnet always has two poles a magnet never has a single pole magnet always exists in pairs okay so suppose you break this magnet into halves you will get two small magnets which will again have two poles that is north pole and south pole all right number two state whether the following statements are true or false so our first question is a magnet can be broken into pieces to obtain a single pole. What did I tell you? Even if you break a magnet, how many poles do you have? Two poles. So, magnets never exist in single pole. So, if even if you break it into pieces, it will have two poles, not a single pole. So, the first statement is wrong, false. Similar poles of a magnet repel each other. Yes, we just did like poles repel each other. So, this is True. Iron filings mostly stick in the middle of a bar magnet when it is brought near them. Remember, in our lecture, we did an activity which is there in NCRT. If you place a magnet on a piece of paper which is full of iron filings, okay, small pieces of iron, then most of the pieces of the iron will cling towards the pole of the magnet like this. And a little bit will be clinging on to the center of the magnet. Okay. So most iron filings, where does it stick? It sticks at the pole of the magnet, not at the middle of the bar. So it is false. A freely suspended magnet always aligned with the north south direction. True. I just told you, if you suspend a magnetic magnet freely, it will always align in a north south direction. Now, number three, uh, column one shows, just a second, column one shows different positions in which one pole of a magnet is placed near the, that of the other. Column two indicates the resulting interaction between them. 
for different situations fill in the blank so here we have in column one the two magnets the poles of two magnets and how are they going to react when they are brought closer so if you bring north pole north pole closer repulsion we studied right repulsion like poles repel and which pole will you get over here to have attraction an unlike pole so if this is north you have to bring a south pole here if you have two unlike poles that is south and north what will happen attraction again you have south here and repulsion is taking place so which pole will be here if you take a north pole so it is an unlike pole unlike pole will show attraction so what are you going to take south pole so two like poles will always show repulsion understood number four Arthur performed an experiment in which he took a bar magnet and rolled it over a heap of steel u clips okay these are the u clips according to you which of the following options in the table 4.3 is likely to be his observation so let us see if the position a will have 10 clips position b will have two clips and position c will have 10 clips to understand or crack the answer first need to analyze the situation we know that most of the clips will go towards the pole of the magnet so most of them maximum number of them will be at the pole and very few will be at the middle all right so position b will have the minimum number of clips so you see in the first option position b has two clips position a and c has 10 10 clips so our first option is the correct option all right you can see the other option where position a has 10 position b has 10 position c it has Two. So, is it possible? No. Again, pole has two, B has ten, position C has ten. Is it possible? No. All of them has ten. Is it possible? No. Maximum will be at the poles and minimum will be at the center. So, the correct answer is one. Reshma bought three identical metal bars from the market. Out of these bars, two were magnet and one was just a piece of iron okay so what will happen what will happen now the question says that how will she identify which two amongst the three could be magnet without using any other material see if you use a magnetic material and bring near the three bars you will understand which is a magnet and which is not but in this question you will not be allowed to use any other material in that way how will you understand that uh, which one is a normal iron bar and which two are the magnets now listen to me when reshma bring uh, will bring one metal bar close to the two bars one by one what will happen what will happen if it repels either of the two then it is a magnet and if it is it attracts then it is a it is an iron okay see i'll explain this to you once again suppose you have three bars bar a bar b and bar c among these three bars two are magnets okay so what am i going to do i don't know which one is magnet suppose i take c and i bring it near a so when i bring c near a what will i find suppose i bring c near a it, it is showing attraction if it is showing attraction it means this can be a magnet or iron right because uh, if this is north pole and this is a magnet and this is the south pole of a magnet it will attract okay or if it is just a piece of iron then also it will get attracted irrespective iron doesn't have any poles so iron will get attracted because iron is a magnetic material so how will you understand now you do one thing you what will you do you flip the side now now this is north uh, south pole and this is north pole now what you see you seeing that it is still getting attracted so you know that had it been a magnet north pole north pole repels each other right if it will be a magnet north pole north pole will repel each other 
but now still it is getting attracted that means this is not a magnet it is a it is a magnetic material that is it is iron all right so that is how we will identify whether it is iron or a magnetic material remember if it shows repul repulsion a magnet can show both attraction or repul repulsion when you bring it towards the another magnet but an iron bar will always get attracted to another magnet that is how you are going to identify whether it is iron or a magnetic bar all right uh, if you want a written explanation of this answer i will mention it in the comment section and i will pin it also so that you can check the answer from there okay I'm trying to make a solution sheet also. So as soon as, as I do that, I will put it in the description box so that you can, if you just click it, you will be taken to the Google Drive and you can download the PDF of the solutions from there. All right. Number seven, a bar magnet has no markings to indicate its pole. How would you find out which end its uh, north pole is located without using another magnet? So again, you don't have to use another magnet over here. So how are you going to do? Suspend up the magnet freely first of all. Okay. When you suspend it freely, what will happen? It will align itself in the north-south direction. And how the end pointing towards the north direction will be the north pole. And the end pointing the south direction will be the south pole. So now you can easily mark the north pole. Okay. Number eight. If the earth is itself a magnet, can you guess the poles of the earth's magnet by looking at the direction of the magnetic compass? Yes, absolutely we can find how. The end of the compass needle that, that points towards the north direction is the north seeking pole, which means geographic north pole of the earth is the magnetic south pole. And the geographic south pole of the earth is the magnetic north pole. Understood? Okay. Number nine. While a mechanic was repairing a gadget using a screwdriver, the steel screws kept falling down. Suggest a way to solve the problem of the mechanic on the basis of what you have learned in the chapter. So now you have learned the chapter, you have to apply yourself. See, the mechanic can magnetize the screwdriver because the screwdrivers are keeping keep on falling. So what are you going to do? You will magnetize the screwdriver. How? By stroking it several times with a magnet. We did an experiment where we converted a piece of iron bar into a magnet, right? We magnetized it. Remember, if you see in our lecture. Similarly, in this one, the mechanic can magnetize the screwdriver by stroking it several times with a magnet. This will make the screwdriver attract the steel screws, preventing them from falling. Okay, now coming to number 10. Two uh, ring magnets X and Y are arranged as shown in this figure 4.16. It is observed that the magnet X does not move further down. What could be the possible reason why it is not coming down? Okay, uh, suggest a way to bring the magnet X in contact with magnet Y without pushing any of the magnets. How can you do? See, why it is not coming down? The possible reason is that like poles are facing each other, causing them to repel and that is why it is not coming down. So, what you need to do, if you want to bring, bring magnet X closer to magnet Y, you flip the magnet Y. When you flip it, then the unlike poles will be facing each other and we know that unlike poles attract each other. So, they will be attracted to each other. Okay. Now, coming to question number 11.
So in this question, we have three magnets are arranged on the table in the form of a shape shown in figure 4.17. If you can see it clearly, wait, just give me a moment. I'll bring it. Yes, now you can see them clearly. So, uh, what is the polarity of north or south at the ends 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6 of the magnet? Now, the polarity of one end, now the fifth end is given for you. Easily you can do this. How you can do this? You know this is north. So, this will be obviously south because magnet always have two poles. So, 6 is south. Now, coming to number 4. You see they are easily placed on one, one on other. If this is north, they will repel. But they are not repelling. They are placed on each other. That means that this has to be south. So, number 4 is south. Then, since this is a magnet, this is south pole. Then, 3 has to be north pole. So, this is north. Again, they are placed on each other. So, that means 2 is south pole. Just a second. Sorry for that, students. Yeah. So, 2 is south pole. Again, we have 1, which is the other end of this south pole. So, this one is north pole. So, what do we get the answer as? 1 is south. Sorry. 1 is north. 2 is south. 3 is north. 4 is south. And 6 is south. Alright. So, that's all for today. In case if you have any query, any difficulty in understanding any of the answers, please mention it in the comment section.